Hello, this is Pamela. Welcome to my channel. Grab you a cup of coffee, sit back and relax, and enjoy some good old yarny talk. So in today's video, I would like to show you how to make these simple, easy, beginner-friendly soap pads. And they're also good to put your soap dispensers on because a lot of times the soap uh, dispensers, they will leak and this will help them help keep your area clean. I will insert a picture to show you what it looks like with the soap dispenser sitting on it. Well, these are good for when you showering, washing your hands, and you can put your soap on one of these little pads right here, and that helps keep the bottom of your bathtub or the, your sink, your kitchen sink, uh, bathroom sink, or wherever you've got it. It helps keep the scum off, that soap scum that you get on the bottom. So, um, yeah, let's go ahead and get started on this. Um, well, I guess I could tell you the measurements on this. They are basically almost five by four are the measurements. And you can just make them in all colors. Great for Christmas gifts, birthday gifts, Mother's Day gifts. Uh, this would be nice to even give someone as a gift to, you can include your soap dispenser to match it. Um, or you could even buy some soap and um, have the soap, you know, matching these. That'd be really nice. Okay, so what you will need for this, you get you some cotton yarn. And the cotton yarn that I will be using for this video, for this tutorial, is the peaches and cream. Now, I'm not going to use this color. I'm going to use the gold. But I wanted to show you this one because it had the band on it. Uh, it's 100% cotton. This color is rosemary. It's a medium four weight. But I'm going to do our tutorial today uh, with this gold. You will need an H hook, which is a 5.0 millimeter hook. You will need a pair of scissors. And you will need a yarn needle. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started on this. We are going to chain 13. Um, you can make a slip knot if you want to. All right, let's chain 13. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and thirteen. Now you are going to work a half double crochet in the second chain from the hook. So there's one chain, two chain. One half double crochet in the second chain from the hook. So now you have one and then one half double crochet in each remaining chain. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Okay, so you have your first row. Now we are going to chain one, turn our work, work one half double crochet in that same stitch that you made your chain one in. We're going to have half double crochet across, so you should have 12 half double crochets. So that was one, two, three, Four, five, six, 
six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and then one in that very last stitch. Here we go. Okay, so that's two rows. Now what you're going to do is you're going to repeat this row to where you end up with seven total rows. And right now we have two. So you need to work five more rows to where you have seven rows. And so just chain one, turn your work, and work one half double crochet across to where you have a total of seven rows. And the beauty of this is that you can make this larger or smaller. Um, if it's 100% cotton, it may shrink if you put it in the dryer. So you could possibly make yours larger if you need to. Um, I made it where it's like this so that if it does shrink, my soap will still fit. If it shrinks to that much, like if that much of it shrinks, I still have a nice little pad. So that's why I made it the size that I made it. Okay, so I will meet you back uh, when you got finished with row seven. Now that you have your seven rows, we are going to work a single crochet all the way around like this right here. We're gonna work a single crochet all the way around it. See, this is what we have here. Let's see. Okay, so let's go ahead and work the single crochet. So start in that last stitch that you have. You're going to chain one and you're going to work one. Two, three single crochets in that first stitch. And since you're working on the side, you have to sort of find your stitches. They're not defined. So just find your little hole that you can evenly spaced that you can put your hook in. Like I said, this is beginner friendly, so don't um, don't concentrate too much on, so don't worry too much about trying to figure out where to insert your hook. It's not that many rows, so just as you see the little openings, the little holes, just find your little, the little spots where there's some holes and just cr uh, single crochet in them. It will work out. All right, in this last stitch, we're going to work three single crochets. And take your starting um, strand of yarn right here, and you're going to kind of put it behind you, and you're going to crochet it in with your work. And if you're uncomfortable with doing that, you can always take a yarn needle and weave it in later. Okay, so now just one single crochet all the way across. Now this is a little more defined of where your stitches are than it is on the side. Okay, in the last stitch, go ahead and work three single crochets in that corner, like that. And I'm going to go ahead and cut off that tail that I had here because 
I crocheted it all the way down so I don't feel like I need it anymore. Okay, so now one single crochet across. And like I said, just find your hole evenly spaced. There we go. All right, three single crochet in that last stitch. And then one single crochet in each stitch across. Guys, this has to be my favorite tutorial to make because my bar of soap is sitting over here and it smells really good. Okay, now we are going to slip stitch into the top of that beginning single crochet. Slip stitch just like that. Now we are going to Fasten our work off, pull your yarn through like that. Now we're going to take our yarn needle thread our yarn needle and we're going to insert it into the work like that so it's nice and smooth. Now we're going to turn it over and we're just going to find places to weave it in like this and just don't pull too tight because it'll be scrunched up in the front now just go back and i'm gonna do it one more time There we go. Okay, now just fasten it off. And now you have made yourself a soap pad or a soap dispenser holder. Just like that. And you can make them in all colors. Um, I am happen to make these in red and white because um, that's what I needed was some red and white ones. So there we go. That's it. And if you would like for yours to be larger, all you have to do is just chain more. Uh, if you want to use a thinner yarn, uh, go down a hook size, but chain more uh, according to your size. I would work at least your base row and then a second row to test how large yours is going to be. If... Uh, before you continue on because if you're using a smaller hook a smaller um weight of yarn you're going to need more stitches so you got to keep that in mind smaller hook smaller yarn more chains <laughs> um but yeah it's completely customizable saying all that is completely customizable to where you can make this as small or as large as you want and um yeah, so let's keep that soap scum off of our bathtubs and off of our sinks. Okay, guys? Let's make these in all colors. All right. Happy crocheting. Bye. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.